Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angela333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe. A few things while I shuffle. Uh, there is an extended reading link below in the description box if you want to check that out. May not resonate with every Scorpio out there, so take what's meant for you. You can leave the rest. You can now follow me on TikTok, on Instagram. All of that info is below in the description box as well. I would say just be careful. Use the exact addresses in the description box as people are trying to duplicate my account. And if anybody solicits you for money, that is not me, okay? Uh, if I offer personal readings, it will be only here on my channel, never on social media. So with that, Scorpio, let's get started. Uh, please give me a like, subscribe, share my video. I do appreciate all of your support. It does help me to grow my channel and it also helps me to connect with your energy. So I got the um, numer numerology deck here and I was really drawn to this deck this morning. So let's see what comes out for you, Scorpio. Let's see what the energy is for Scorpio. Show me what Scorpio needs to know. What's the uh, numbers here that Scorpio needs to know? Numbers and messages. All right, got 74 there, which is 11. You have number three. You have number 41, and we're gonna take uh, the bottom of the deck here. You have number 37, okay. So the messages you have here, Scorpio. Okay, I feel like you're being very disciplined at this time, okay? I'm gonna start with these two cards here, number 41, which is five, and you have number 37, which is 10. I feel like you may be going through a transition in your life right now, okay? There's an energy here of self-discipline, okay? So maybe you're being very disciplined with yourself. Maybe this is a message here that you need to be. But you have, it's an energy here of taking a break, okay? So maybe you're needing to take a break from something, uh, gain a fresh perspective, you know, a timeout. This can be a timeout, uh, you know, from a love as well. Uh, but really just taking time to yourself and I feel like a period of time of reflection, okay? You also have the energy here of nature, okay? So maybe some of you are needing to get outdoors, reconnect with nature, okay, taking time to yourself. Uh, for some of you, you know, depending on the weather, maybe you can't get out. I've heard that from people commenting uh, that they can't get outside in nature, okay? So what I say to that is maybe if you can get out of the house, sit by a window, maybe if there's sunshine, you know, sit in the sun, uh, just connect however you can, right? to feel like you are out of your house and you're out in nature, okay? So you'll have to figure out how that's gonna work for you. Now you also have here creativity, okay? So this can be the idea of something, maybe there's something here you've been thinking about, maybe that's where the discipline uh, comes in for you, okay? Being in nature is a great place, right, to um, really think about ideas, I'm going to say here too, um, you know, because your mind may not be focused on all the other things going on in your life, it's a great time to, you know, really think things out. Uh, maybe you have some sort of new idea that you're wanting to play out here. Uh, three for me can also be a, <clears throat> you know, the beginning of something here, okay? Even a rebirth. So let's pull some cards. Scorpio, see what messages come out for you. This is your weekly, uh, March 7th through the 13th. And uh, I will pick up whatever energies come out in your reading. So this can be about love, career, finances, what have you. So let's see what the energies are here for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Wow, Ace of Cups, who did that come out for? Okay, I think I just did Leo's energy. Okay, that might mean something, uh, Leo's reading. Um, that came out in Leo's energy in the same position there. Seven of Swords, the World card, 
The Ace of Pentacles, very nice. The Justice card, strong Libra energy. <clears throat> we have the Nine of Cups, the Empress, another energy here of rebirth, the creation of Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me, Scorpio. And then bottom of the deck here, you have the Seven of Cups. I'm hearing choices, decisions. I feel like you may be strategizing about something here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Some of you, this can be about love. Some of you, I feel like this is something else going on in your life as well. So let's look at the cards here. So you have uh, the Ace of Cup, okay? Water energy. I feel this is an energy really just in general here that I am seeing for you. I feel like this is about your own, <clears throat> excuse me, love, fulfillment, okay, justice here, okay. I talked about taking a, a break and really reflecting. Sorry about that. I had to take a break, okay. My allergies are just really bothering here. So the justice and the ace of cups, okay. I feel like this is, you know, about you kind of um, taking a break for yourself, gaining your own clarity, finding your own balance within. That's what a lot of this energy here is, that self-discipline uh, here, um, you know, really trying to figure out how to get to a place where your cup is full here with that Ace of Cups. Now, this can be around a love situation. This can be around uh, your life in general, okay? That's what I'm picking up here. You have the Seven of Swords with the Nine of Cups here, okay? So I feel, um, I'm hearing that you may have neglected yourself here in the past, like emotionally in some sort of way. Uh, you may have avoided a situation, right? Maybe avoided how you felt about a situation, but I feel like that is changing here. I feel like there's an energy of you really uh, trying to find your own balance within, okay? Uh, the energy here, though, with the Ace of Cups is very nice here. It's an energy here where, you know, I do feel that there is something new that is about to happen for you that is going to bring about a lot of happiness, okay? Now, this could be something you've been planning for, right? Something you've been hoping for, something you've been wishing for, right? There is a lot of creative energy here, uh, a, a, an energy of needing some self-discipline. But you also have here the World card and you have the Empress. This tells me there's a new cycle, a new chapter that's happening here in your life. And um, I feel there's a birth of something here. So this can be something you've been planning for. This can be also just a rebirth of you, right? A new you, um, a new, I don't know why I'm hearing this, a new persona, right? Um, you know, paying attention to you and paying attention to your own happiness and what makes you feel good, what makes you feel balanced here. Okay, is the energy that I am getting. Now, look at this. This is really nice. You have the Queen of Swords. And you have the Ace of Pentacles, all right? And, you know, again, it's going back to doing what's right for you, doing what's good for you. And also, I feel here making healthy choices for yourself, okay? I feel like this is, there's a lot going on here, right? You're questioning all of this here, okay? You have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like this is, you know, one, making good choices for yourself. You know, there may be a lot of things going on in your life right now. You're trying to sort that out. I'm also getting here too, you could have uh, mixed emotions about a particular person, a love situation, right? And uh, the time away from this person has really kind of um, made you think a lot about things and about a lot about what you want. And look at here, you have interesting enough, you have the Nine of Cups and you have the Nine of Swords, okay? This could be two different people, two different people coming towards you, okay? But it also can just be one, somebody here coming towards you with communication, offering their cup, somebody who's interested in you or somebody who already you've developed feelings and emotions for. Let's pull some more cards and let's see where this is all going. But I feel there's a new, a new beginning. I'm even hearing like a new you, 
right? Doing what's best, doing what's good for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Show me what Scorpio, what other messages you have here for Scorpio. What other messages do you have for Scorpio? All right, you have the Six of Cups. Now, we have um, water energy here. We have air energy. We have earth energy. We have uh, strong Taurus, your energy, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. We have strong Libra energy as well. Only thing we don't have so far, oh, we do have Leo, but we don't have Aries or Sagittarius yet. We have Nine of Swords. We have Seven of Pentacles. And we have King of Swords. Wow, look at that. King and Queen of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. So you have a divine counterpart here, okay? Um... And I'm feeling that both of you are a bit detached from each other, which makes sense here. There's a timeout, okay? You also have here the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So you have the Six of Cups, okay? I feel there's a situation where you and somebody here definitely have mutual feelings for each other. I feel, uh, you know, with this Justice card... I feel like you're not feeling completely, we'll say, happy or content about the situation. You may be feeling here um, that this person could be secretive with you, or maybe you're being secretive with them. But I see worry on your mind here, okay? Um, I feel like with this Nine of Swords energy, okay, it's with the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So you may be feeling or wondering um, if this person is hiding something, if this person is being secretive, uh, is what I see here, okay? You have the Seven of Pentacles as well. So I see you here doing a lot of reflection here, okay, with the Empress here. I feel like you and this person have spent some time together. You've made some memories here. Uh, I do feel you have a past with this person. Okay, I do feel like you have a past with this person. I feel like you're still hopeful um, that things could work out. You do have the Eight of Pentacles uh, uh, on the bottom of the deck here. Seven to the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're reflecting on this. I feel like there's an energy here of you still, you know, having some hope here that things could work out between you and this person here. But I also see you very focused on you and your life, okay? your potential here. Um, I feel like, you know, this situation um, or while you've been on a break or there is distance between you and this person has made you really think about your life and what you want. Now, what's really nice here, like I said, you have the king and the queen of swords, okay? So, like I said, I feel like right now um, both of you may have your guard up. I feel um, that... This person's doing a lot of thinking here. I feel like you possibly could be waiting for some communication from this person. I'm going to say here too, you have the Ace of Pentacles here as well. Right next to the World card. Now there could be some travel distance between the two of you. But I think there's a bigger picture here, okay, that maybe you're not seeing. You have the Ace of Pentacles with the World card. I feel the bigger picture here is that I, I do feel there is... Time invested with this person. I feel like you and this person may think the same way. I feel like both of you are guarded here, okay? But I do feel like there's still potential here for the long term between you and this person, okay? I, I feel that there could be there could be um, opportunity here for you and this person to work out. So let's see where all of this is going. But the positive thing here is that I feel, Scorpio, that this has changed you um, or you have evolved from this situation in a very positive way, okay? Because I feel like your perspective of thinking is not just about this person. I feel like it's about your life in general. So let's see here uh, where this is all going. What's the potential here in this situation for Scorpio? Okay, so you have the Two of Pentacles. 
you have the death card. You have the queen of pentacles. You have the eight of swords. I'm going to push these up here. You have the lovers card. And you have the page of pentacles. Okay. So bottom of the deck here, you have the two of wands, all right? There's the fire energy we weren't seeing earlier. So you have the two of pentacles and you have the death card, okay? This is a situation I do feel like there may have been some sort of ending here, okay? Now with the two of pentacles, for some of you, this could be a situation that's been an on and off situation, right? There may have been a lot of back and forth in the past here. But I also get the energy here that this may be you too, weighing your options, whether, you know, you know, whether you want a rebirth, right? Whether you want a new beginning with this person, okay? I feel here too, with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that, you know, I'm getting a very confident, strong energy from you. Like I said, I feel this energy for what you have gone through or this break that you've experienced from this person, I feel like you've really grown a lot, okay? This may be that you've been very focused on your money and your career. Uh, it can be also here you're feeling more confident, okay? Focusing your energy on you, okay? It really in a very stable, grounded place, doing well for yourself, okay? You have the Eight of Swords here as well, okay? So I feel it's an energy that you may be feeling stuck, <clears throat> okay? So whether it's you're waiting for communication with this person or whether you feel this is a situation that just is back and forth, not really moving in the direction that you want, okay? So I feel there's a decision you're trying to make here in your situation, okay? You have uh, the lovers, strong Gemini, and you also have the page of pentacles, okay? I feel, like I said, I feel with that Ace of Pentacles, the King and the Queen of Swords, there's definitely a very strong connection here. I feel the two of you are brought together for a reason. You've got angel energy here. I feel that um, with the Page of Pentacles and the Lovers, there is some sort of message coming through to you, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to say... Um, this could be a new energy, but I'm leaning more so this is somebody, you know, this is this person here, okay? Because I see potential here. I see an equal counterpart, um, and I feel like, you know, uh, you're still thinking about this, right, with this Eight of Swords. So I feel you got a message coming through here from this person. I feel like they're going to reach out here with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, I feel this could happen between now and a month's time. Okay, don't quote me on the, the timing here, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Two of Wands. So I see you definitely thinking about the future, right? And, uh, you know, there are two paths here, a decision here you're going to have to make. Now, for some of you, like I said, there could be, this could be a new energy coming into your life and you're going to have to make a decision between two. That definitely is a possibility here, right? But I see the energy here that, um, that since there has been distance between the two of you, okay, I feel like this is where you're feeling stuck. And it may be that, um, you know, you may have felt like you weren't treated good here, right? Maybe feeling like you didn't get the clarity that you needed or things didn't happen the way that you wanted them to happen. But I do see another opportunity here with this Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords, okay? And like I said, there's a message coming through here if you want it, right? doesn't mean that you you know, um, you want to work on things with this person. But I'm going to say here, Scorpio, I feel like in, in general, in your life, 
you um, are definitely evolving and there is a positive aspect to this even if you don't want to be with this person I see this has changed your life in some way where it's really made you focus on you and your goals and your potential here so I'm going to take this to the extended uh, Scorpio we're going to look at how this person is thinking or feeling about you their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. So I hope to see you there, Scorpio. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.